Hey everybody, so I am filming the intro to this on my actual digital camera because I have ran out of memory on my actual camera and I don't feel like going out and transferring files just to do an intro. This is the look here. I hope everything's coming out really nice, but this look here is inspired by Rihanna's Who's That Chick uh, music video and I'll put a picture now. So that's the video, that's the picture I was inspired by and I really want to do something different so I think I kind of got it. You know, it is very bold with the blush and the eyes even. Oh my god. And in the video it was very long and I'm not sure how I'm going to go with editing but I had a lot of things go wrong with this video. But I made it. I think it's going to go well. But I will show you one of the reasons why... It took so long to film. Caleb, Caleb, say hey. <laughs> hey, get that out. You don't need that. Uh, say hello. Hey. <laughs> that was one of the reasons why he is a bit sick at the moment, and he decided to vomit everywhere after he woke up while I was in the middle of filming. So I had to quickly shower him and get him all, well not dressed, he didn't want to get dressed but at least I had to put a nappy on him. But that is what I had to do. The things you do. My last bit of this video is not that great so I'm just going to say if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, I would love that. And also if you have any questions, requests, just want to say hey, just put that down below in the comments and I'll be very happy to, <laughs> to read all of it. Show everyone what you're doing. You got one of my hoop earrings. You're wearing it as a bracelet. I am going to use the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer and I know I always use this one but it honestly is the best for my skin. And don't mind my nails, they're like coming off. But I'm just putting that in the usual spots, patting it in, trying to get it into my pores. Okay, I'm gonna do the eyes but I'm gonna start with the cut crease first. So eye primer and this is the uh, Australis eyeshadow primer put that all over I have the picture right here so I can get um, use it for reference because it's always good to have a picture of what you're doing right in front of you just to keep looking at it just to know where you're heading with your look so without talking because we all know I'm good at that I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics uh, Pro Color Palette. Oh, not that one. No, no. Ah, that's one. That was meant to be in front, but you know, we, we, won't, we won't worry. I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's BHCM01. And I'm going to use that very lightly for the crease. I'm going to lift up my. I'm going like, uh, to do that just so I can. You know, get right there. I'm going to go just above the crease. And honestly, you want to take it so slow with this because it is so tricky. And I'm not a perfectionist at it, but I still take it slow just so I know I'm not going to stuff up. And it is good to get like a really fine point of brush when doing this. Small strokes and... We will get there eventually. Okay, so that one is done. And I will go on it with a like a more brown shade because that is quite red. Um, but I'm just going to go to the other eye and come back to it. Okay, now, so now coming back in with a darker shade, I've just done my other one really quickly. And it is a little bit thicker, but I can fix that up. No worries. So this is BHMM06, and it is a darker. It's more, um, it's very purpley brown, but, you know, still a brown. It's not as red as the other one. But I'm just going to go right over that other colour. I'm 
going to go in with one of these brushes and this is the Coastal Sense Pro Blending Fluff and it is a dupe for the MAC 217. I'm just going to go in with that same shade we just used but very very tiny amount and I'm just going to put that on there and just sort of blend everything out so it's not a harsh line but I'm not taking any further down than that line. I'm going to take this brush actually. My manicure brush, manicure, manicure, I don't know what it's called. And use that. Okay, so now that's on there like that. I'm going to go in with the Crystal Sense one. And just blend it out. So far, so good. So I'm just going to do the other eye now, get back up to the same steps, and I'll be back. And now I'm just using the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil and Seashells and just putting white on there and not going over any of that brown that we put on for the cut crease. But I still want to make an exact line. Against it. I'm going to stop talking when I do this because or else, I don't know, I just can't concentrate. Does anyone else have that problem? Hmm. So for the yellow I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. And I'm going to use... This shade right at the top is really, really bright, bright yellow. So I'm just going to take this BH Cosmetics flat shade brush and I'm just going to pack it on there. And I'm going to take it down into the inner tear duct area. So that's what it looks like so far. Pretty, I don't know, scary. I don't know how this is going to turn out actually. I'm just going to go in with this colour here from the uh, Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette and just put that in my crease just to make it a little bit more red. And I'm going to mix it in with this one here as well. So that one and that one. Grab this big fluffy brush and just blend that out. I'm going to use this shade here from the uh, Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette and I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to use the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. Okay, so now for eyeliner. In the picture she has a very, very thin eyeliner. I finally repurchased the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. And I'm going to use that. Okay, so I just went and put my battery on charge because it went flat. Even though it said it had full charge when I started, but... What can you do? So, I just took the tape off and that's what it looks like. Kind of weird and crazy, but let's just see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to move on to the rest of my face for now and then come back to my eyes once the rest of it's all done. For my foundation, I'm going to use, I think this is going to be too pink, but it is the Remember Match Perfection Foundation in 301 Warm Honey and I haven't used this in so long. And I have not used it with the um, Real, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, so I'm going to try that out today. See how it works with the foundation. I love the smell of this foundation. I love it, love it, love it.
really need to start using a darker tan. I'm using the um, um, Bondi Sands Tanning Mousse in light. But I really need to do it in dark just because I want to be a bit more darker. Okay, so I'm going to let that sink into the skin just a little bit. And I'm going to move on to my brows. Okay, so for my brows, I'm going to use the same product I always do. And that is the Models Prefer Brow Liner in Medium. And I'm just going to be a little bit more heavy-handed with it just to get a more dramatic look like she does. Oh my god, the look is like a hundred times better with brows already. So now the foundation has time to set down into my skin nicely. I'm going to go in and conceal and highlight and contour. And I'm going to contour using the 10 color palette camouflage and concealer palette. So I'm going to go in and use a mix of these two colors here. This is a more pink toned color here and this is a more uh, yellow toned color. So I'm just going to mix, 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 make a mix of them. Before that sets too much, I'm going to blend it in with the e.l.f. small stippling brush and then go on to the rest of it. And then small circular motions, just to blend it all in. I'm going to go on and do everything else. So, the forehead. I mean the temples. So, if you can see, I have... Uh, what appears to be what appears to be no chin. I got that from my dad, so thank you. Uh, so I just put it on there like that, and kind of make a like a little tiny curved line. Just so when it's like that, it looks like it's really pouty, and also makes your lip uh, look like it's more plump. But also make it look like you have a bit more of a chin, because you're creating that natural shadow there. So I blend that out. And back to this for the temple contour. And I'm going to go in and use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in light and put that in unusual areas under the eyes, the chin, Cupid's bow, nose, forehead. And I'm going to blend that out using the end of my Beauty, blend beauty Blender. Going in with the stippling brush and blending it all together. And now I'm going to set the highlight with the six color contour and blush palette. And I'm going to use this shade and a little bit of this shade. I'm going to use this uh, BH Cosmetics highlighter brush. Okay, so I'm back. He just woke up and decided that he wanted to be sick everywhere because he has been ooh, ah, everything. He has been a bit unwell the last a few days, so he's gonna be sitting here while I finish this video. So I apologise if that is annoying to you. If it is, then get over it because he's staying here because he wants to be near mummy, and I want to finish filming this. Be careful there. Okay, so. Bronzer. I'm going to use the Napoleon Set Bronzing Powder, and I'm not sure if this actually has a shade or not, I don't think so. Uh -oh. I am going to use it on mm -hmm. one of these uh, BH Cosmetics all over face brushes, and I'm going to use it very light handed, because it is so dense. But I'm just going to put it on top of that bit where I put that cream contour. Now I'm just going to go over with some loose translucent powder just to set everything else that I didn't put any product on. And I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics uh, powder brush. 
not sure the exact name because I don't have it on these ones, but no biggie. Okay, so since that is, I don't know if you can see that, it's just pink, pink blush. So you can't really go wrong with it, but you can, like, if you put way too much on or not enough, blush. <clears throat> now, I'm going to use this blush pink right there. And I'm going to use it on a Real Techniques Multitask brush, and I'm just going to go straight in. You still want to tap off because you don't want to have such. Mommy. So I do want to have a little bit of highlight on there because I'm not sure if she has it, but I'm guessing she does. From the picture I have, I can't tell. But I'm guessing she would have some sort of highlight on her cheekbones. So I don't want to go too intense where it's like a, too, like a natural... More natural. I don't want to go a normal highlight where it's more of a goldy champagne, skin toned kind of colour. I want to keep with the pink toned. So that's why I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Floral Blush Duo in Iris. And I'm going to use this right here. And obviously you can see it's more of a peachy, semi kind of colour pink. I'm going to take it on another BH Cosmetics highlight brush. And really see if it pack on there. And I haven't actually used this. This is the first time using this product. So, and just put it on top. So, now back to the eyes. Now the face is completely done apart from the lips. But back to the face. Eyes. Eyes. Okay, so, I'm going to finish with the eyeliner. So she has, like, a cat light goes in on the inner corner. I should have done this before, but, you know, I'm doing it now. <laughs> so you just want to bring it into the inner corner. And make it. I have a point in our eye, not good at this, but Ow. we'll see how we go. Ow. So, I'm going to put this in my tight line and a water line. And this is probably really weird, but this is the only way for me to do it. Okay, so now with the green eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush first. And I'm just going to use this one here. It's from BH Cosmetics. And just lightly put that underneath there. Just yellow, I'm just going in with another uh, pencil. This one's from Sigma. And putting that under here. Okay, so for mascara, I'm just going to use the same one I always do, and it is the Lashes Go Wild Volumizing Mascara. I'm also going to do lashes, and these are the Red Cherry 43. I'm going to do this all off camera because my camera is starting to go flat again, but I will be back as soon as I finish. Okay, so this is the look so far. Um, I've got my lashes done, and now it's just pretty much lips, and for that, I'm going to use... And for that, I'm going to use this pink lip liner in Pretty in Fuchsia. It's from Essence. Okay, so I use the LA Girl... <clears throat> I used the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint in Baby Doll. I didn't film it, but what I did was just put a little bit on the back of my hand and dab it on my lips. So that's all I did. Um, so this look is completed. It's been a very weird here, there, everywhere video, but I've got it done. Um, you know, I had to work around other people. But that is it for this video. If you want to see any more of these type of videos, then just give this video a big thumbs up for me. Uh, like and subscribe. Oh, that's a thumbs up. But I'll see you again soon. Bye.